What's up everyone? Welcome to our channel and welcome to a new luxury real estate tour episode. Today you join us on the Bishops Avenue, which is better known as Billionaires Row here in London. This house behind me is on the market for 10 million pounds. Now the specs of this home, it has nine bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, and is 10,570 square feet in total. So a crazy monster house, so we're really excited to show you guys around. Now, if you're new here, Summer and I taught some of the most amazing and exclusive properties all around the UK. We're not agents, but feel free to go check out our channel and see some more of those properties. Summer, what are your first thoughts of this house? Yeah, it is absolutely huge. There's an underground, lower ground floor swimming pool. Yeah. But let's start from the outside. So you've got um, in and out gates. Yeah, so it's a carriageway driveway with loads of parking, as you can see here, super secure. You've got CCTV either side. Um, and the house is actually double fronted. So meaning the door is in the very center. And what about that for an entrance? Let me bring you over here to, to give you some perspective of, of how tall this entrance way is and just how grand this house is in total. And this door is double coated. So basically that means it's bulletproof. Bulletproof. <laughs> no Check one's getting that. in. That's so cool. And then over to the left hand side of me now, we've got the double garage and there's a surprise in there. So stay tuned for that. Now, if you want any more details about this property, there's a form in the description below. All the information on there, such as photos, floor plan, and you could submit um, an inquiry. So yeah, so much, we go check it out. So ceiling heights as you enter on the ground floor are 13 feet in total. We've got stone flooring throughout a lot of the ground floor as well. And now before we get into the tour, let's pop the floor plan on screen so you guys can get your bearings. Accommodation is over four floors in this home. So through to the dining room, we've got double doors. And then it goes to oak flooring. We've got the AC system on as this house has full air conditioning all the way around, which is super crucial. But yeah, check out, this is the dining area. I think what's interesting about this house, which you'll see in a few rooms, is the circular arch architecture. Yeah. Um, you'll see that in a room at the back of the house, but this room flows nicely into the living space. Nice space, so a 10 seater table, very comfortable. And then as you come over here, We've got these big wooden sliding doors that separate the space quite nicely, as you can see. So this goes into the formal living area. And as you can see, the seating area is here, but what you're gonna be drawn to in this room is just how incredible the fireplace is. That's Look at that. Look at the so size big. of this. This is like a little house in here. You can just pop in. Let's do a close up. So yeah. it's a stone fireplace. Matt, how tall are you? Like 6'3"? Look how big he is next to it. Yeah. And that also gives you perspective of the ceiling heights. I'm certainly nowhere near touching the ceiling heights in this space, which of course you would expect for the price. Now from this room, we've got access onto the outdoor patio area, which then goes on to the garden, which we'll show you that later in the tour. But let's keep the flow through. So we come through the dining um, area, through the lounge. We're gonna go through these other sliding doors into the open plan kitchen breakfast area. got the white marble style finish on top here and then like an off gray color for the cabinetry let's check out the appliances first so these yeah. are all gaganau all gaganau appliances so we've got warming tray um, dual ovens as you can see and then over here is the fridge and freezer and that's all integrated so full height siemens fridge full height siemens freezer then we've got the Bora hob on this side. Lots of worktop space. Yeah, it's a good size. And then straight up, you've got a couple of Velux windows, adding a little bit more light into this space. And then over here, here we've got the sink area and then four bar stools, the other side of the kitchen. So quite a minimal design, you know, not super flashy or, or, or fancy, but um, I think a nice finish. All right, before we carry on the tour and show you the rest of this house, I just wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is the Zeus app. So guys, either if you're an estate agent and you're looking to gather more leads, win more instructions, then you can download the Zeus app and obviously you'll receive valuation requests from people within your area. Um, it's all done super smoothly via the app, but also if you're thinking of selling or letting your property, you can very quickly download the app, um, get a pretty instant valuation estimate from local estate agents in your area, and then you can choose for them to contact you 
but just a nice easier way of dealing with estate agents and getting valuations. So all the links will be in the description. Make sure to check that out on the App Store. And if you're an agent, contact Nick. His yeah. email will be in the description. All right, let's carry on the tour. We're going to head through this way through these double doors. Some of this is the point you mentioned at the start where the other circular area is. So lots of this architecture, as you'll see throughout the space, and you might think a circular area wouldn't really work, but it actually, it actually does. I think it gives a quite a nice feel. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite rooms, kind of like a morning room. Yeah. And then if you look, let me pan up, you can see there's like a, I think it's called a little cupola. Little cupola, and I already know you you love you like this yeah, city, don't you? Yeah, I like you? that so far. Yeah, that style. <laughs> okay, cool guys. So yeah, loads and loads more to see. I think after checking out the rest of this floor, we'll go down and show you the swimming pool. But there's still more to see, so we're going to go back to the main hallway, which is through here. Now, do you want to get your bearings? So this is where we came in. This is the grand center staircase, and obviously we went through that way and around. So now we're going to show you this side of the house. So we've got the office through here. Pretty basic, not a huge amount to see, but does the job. And then through this way, we have the garage through here. So you can access it integral and check out. So you've got the wooden door and check out this beast of a door. This reminds me of a door for a ship. Come on in. Yeah, we've got the piano and the Aston Martin. I did a quick bit of research and depending on what model this is, they could be a similar value. Really? Wow. Yeah, but it may not be the super expensive one, I'm not sure. Maybe if you know, you can let us know in the comments. I actually really like the grand pianos in white. Yeah. Cool, right? But two up and over doors. Exactly. Two space for two cars. Yeah. Yeah, everything you need, really. Okay, that's that. Then the last bit on this floor is the WC and... What else is there? That is just the WC yeah, there, I mean, yeah? Yeah, some other storage space, so WC through here. Is that polished plaster on the walls? Now here, you know what, let's just show everyone because I know sometimes when we miss the storage, people want to see. So you've actually got quite a lot here. Look, I can actually go in. Okay, see you later. I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, you could probably come out that section yeah. as well. This is a demonstration of the size. <laughs> Okay, that's the ground floor. Let us know in the comments what you guys are thinking so far. Um, and obviously subscribe if you're not already. And let's go check out downstairs. All right guys, welcome downstairs. Let's go check the gym out firstly, which is through here. So nice space for a couple of pieces of gym equipment, mirrors on the wall, still good ceiling heights down here. Okay, now we're gonna check out the swimming pool, which is one of my favorite parts of this house. So around here, you've got the whole leisure area. Swimming pool, jacuzzi, sauna, spa, everything. So now through some more double doors, we've got this really cozy, chill area. And then the living space over here, which has just been furnished with a sofa. Well, she could have a TV and everything up there. And then we've got a couple of doors to a little outside patio area. It's quite a big room. Yeah. Maybe you could have like a night, a little like, bar, nightclub room. Yeah, and then connect all that to the pool. Yeah. Be quite nice. Okay, so we've got all the bedrooms to see, principal bedroom, all of that stuff. So let's go up there and um, we'll meet you upstairs. Okay, so now we're gonna show you the bedrooms. We've just swapped over, so <laughs> Matt's holding the camera now. We'll check out the principal bedroom first. It's the most exciting one. So come on in, Matt. So wooden floorings, very neutral colors and it's very light in this room. You've got a lot of windows over your back garden, which we'll go out to at the end of the video. Now, the interesting thing about this room is there's kind of like two separate en suites and two separate closets. So let's show you this one first. So the wardrobe's all the way back here, and then it goes into your en suite. This is the nicest one out of the two. It's got the bath. Um, so you can choose which one you prefer. And then Matt, the sink is round here. And this is all marble countertops. And then you've got Durabit sanitary wear. Check out the lighting up there. Yeah, it changes color. Now let's come over to this room. So your closet's on the um, left as soon as you walk in. And then right is your ensuite, which I'll go into in a second. And here's your bedroom. 
I also think this is a really pretty room with the kind of circular windows. And that here is the ensuite with a shower and a separate bath. Okay, now back out to the landing. I think we should just take a moment to appreciate the landing a little bit more. So if you look all the way down and then if you look up after Matt, there's like a cupola. And then on this side, you've got the gallery um, kind of landing over the front chandelier. So two more bedrooms to show you on this floor. Kind of the same layout with them being either side of each other. Let's check out this one. Very large room. Lots of space, probably could fit a way bigger bed in here and then all your closets on this side. The, the ensuite here, very similar to the one that we just showed you, separate bath, separate shower, with that kind of creamy tiled marble. So flowing to the next bedroom, I wanna show you these bedrooms quite quickly because obviously I know they're all kind of very similar looking. Um, again, large space and your own en suite bath there and then a separate shower behind the door let us know which bedroom you'd be taking obviously the principal but if you couldn't have that one i think i would choose the circular room at the front what about you matt yeah probably the same room as you i'd hope <laughs> okay let's go to the next floor here you can get a better look now at the cupola i think that's what it's called bedroom bedroom there's so many bedrooms so you kind of feel, obviously, you're not in the attic or anything, but the um, ceilings are, are they called eaves? Yeah. And you've got two skylights on top, bringing your light in, and your shower room. It's getting hotter every floor we go to. Next bedroom. <laughs> A lot of bedrooms. Now let's head to the other side of the landing. Oh, we've got a utility room up here. Here we go, you've got your washer and dryer. Another bedroom. <laughs> oh my God, this, this is probably the most bedrooms we've ever showed in a house tour. They are very similar. Yeah, we do on the video to... Well, we'll chat to the video if you want to skip yeah. past the bedrooms anyway. Okay, last bedroom. This is more of like, I feel like a kid's room. Quite cool, um, triangular ceiling with this triangular window. And then you just have a shower in this one suite. Okay, let's go check out the garden in the back of the house. Um, I'm finished the video there. Oh, are you okay, Matt? Yeah. Mm. Okay, it's very hot up here, so we'll meet you outside. Okay, so outside, as you can see, we've got steps coming down from, that is the living room, and that is the kitchen just there. And then you've also got steps this side which um, come up from the pool room. Um, so either way you can kind of get access outside. And that's then- That's the quite cool architecture there, isn't it? That yeah, that's circle. that room. Yeah. What do you guys think to the circles with the houses? Let us know in the comments. And then there's this kind of patio area for some garden furniture. And if we head back this way, Matt, in the garden, you've got a nice bit of lawn a little area for a table here and a summer nice. house just over there. I don't know if it's pick up in the camera. Might be... Let's go have a closer look because it's quite a big summer house. Yeah. There we go. That's probably got like a value of half a mil. Yeah. <laughs> and let's show you the house from the back. Oh, and another palm tree. Yeah. We keep seeing palm trees now. Maybe the tropics is calling us. Exactly. So guys, that just brings us to the end of the tour. Please remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe for future videos. But here it is, 10 million in Bishops Avenue. Let us know in the comments what you think. And it's been great viewing this house with you. So see you in the next video.